You're going to your first costume convention. You want to go as your favorite Tarantino character. You got your black jacket, you got your skinny tie, but you're missing the pièce de résistance. We got costumer James Clark here to help me take this to this. Um, James? Corey? Yeah, man. Hey, I need your help with something. What do you got? So I need you to help me make these costume ready. Can you do that? Uh, you mean like one of these? Exactly like that. And surprise, I got one for you. Okay. And I got one for me. All right. Uh, this is going to take a little work, a little paint. So uh, why don't I get some uh, other clothes on and we'll open these things up. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Cool. So now that we're all changed, ready to get dirty, you want to tear any of these things and see what we got? Yeah, let's, let's check them out. So it looks like we're ready to get our hands dirty. Okay. So where do we start? We got our supplies all laid out here. So right. uh, first of all, what we're going to want to do is we're going to uh, try and sand off any of these logos and this text because we don't want this to show through when, uh, when we're painting. Mm -hmm. We'll put a coat of uh, paint and primer on there. We'll probably do uh, one of each color. We'll do one kind of gunmetal black. Okay. Uh, and Which it'll look like sort of like that. And then for the other one, we'll do more of a, a silver color with uh, the black grip, which is a lot like this pistol here. Making these things dirty and feel lived in is, is pretty important to a lot of different costumes. You know, not everybody is going to have pristine chromed weapons mm -hmm. and everything. So Like it's been used. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you'll be doing that with uh, your acrylic washes. So we'll be mixing up some of these. Just get it uh, a little water and a little acrylic okay. paint, and just we'll, we'll get them good and dirty after that. Okay. Uh, a lot of times then what we finish is we'll do a, a matte clear coat finish just because props and weapons are always like scraping around right. you know on, on your costume or in the holsters so we'll uh, we'll do a clear coat finish when we're done to protect it. Okay. Okay so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna want to sand these up a little bit we've got to rough them up to where they uh, they'll hold some paint okay. so. Well, these little nooks and crannies uh. Yeah. <laughs> So like, what, what's the etiquette for carrying weapons to conventions? You know, is it allowed, not allowed? Uh, or? I mean, it depends on the convention and the event. Uh, you know, uh, certain events now, um, you they don't want you carrying anything that looks like a, a prop weapon or any kind of uh, real weapon. Um, so these might be out. These might be out for those, but uh, a lot of the conventions you still can as long as you adhere to certain uh, rules. And okay. usually, I mean, every convention is different. Right. Uh, but a lot of them, the rule would be that uh, you have to go check in and they'll piece tie the trigger. Okay. And uh, a lot of times they'll have a rule about having an orange tip on the gun. So it might be a, a good idea to have even get some a piece of plastic or, or a cork right. even works and then paint the cork orange and put it in the end of the barrel. Yours did, you did a really good job here. All right. I think that was pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Cool. Let's paint these guys. Sounds good. So now that we're done sanding these things, uh, and we see this weird contraption, <laughs> what are we uh, doing next? Well, these are actually really helpful for, for painting prop weapons. Uh, okay. These are just metal dowels, basically. I think they're for gardening or something. Uh, we just stab them in the yard, and then that way you put the barrel through them, uh, uh -huh. and rather than painting one side and then the other side, you, we can do the whole thing. And uh, so it makes things really fast. Um, and also uh, you're not getting any paint smears from it laying on a surface. So right. they're pretty helpful for that. And we use these exclusively for, uh, for painting prop weapons. Okay. So we've got our paint can. I think I'm gonna move back just a okay. little bit. Uh, and pretty much the only tip I have as far as painting would be would uh, Kind of don't get too close because then it'll it'll smear. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to point straight down. You want to get nice kind of parallel to the to the prop. Yeah, nice. And do it kind of in streaks. There you go. So we'll let these dry. These are good for our base coat. Uh, we'll give them about you know 10, 15 minutes, and we'll see how they look. Well, sounds good. Cool. So ideally, we'd wait a little bit longer before we would uh, start taping off and painting this. It's a little bit tacky, but this, this one's actually a little better than the other one. So we're going to go ahead and, and tape off the grip. Uh, we're going to keep the grip black on this. 
we're going to get uh, our painter's tape here and cover that grip. And we're going to do different little size pieces here. And basically what we're going to do is just kind of cover that just so we don't get any silver paint on our right. black grip. And we're going to use this flat edge here. So we'll get into this corner. And like I said, we're going to we're kind of doing the quick job here, but normally you could uh, you could even make a stencil or something right. and use an X-Acto knife and cut the exact shape that you need. And um, really, it's just your your prep time on these are what really is going to take the longest. Actually, painting right. and everything is so quick. Why don't you take a crack at that side there? All right. So we just kind of just start just getting it yeah, on. Yeah, just try and get it right on the edge. All right. You do all the edges first and then you can just fill in the center. And you know, we have some paint shining through a little bit, but this is all going to be painted over again, so okay. that's, that'll be okay. So we have our grip, which is already black, and we'll go paint this silver now okay. to get the, our metallic looking prop gun. Right. Sounds good. So these uh, are pretty dry now, so uh, we've got our, our chromed out 1911 and we got our gunmetal gray 1911. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weather these up a little bit with some acrylic paint. Uh, this is commonly known as like a black wash that okay. you're gonna be doing on yours. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and peel the, uh, the tape off the grip, <laughs> we'll see how that turned out. Squirt you out a little, uh, a little acrylic paint onto so the paper plate. this is just plain, plate. plain old paint exactly. acrylic? Okay. Just so that's probably good. And I've got brown. So what we're gonna wanna do uh, is you just kind of mix it up like that and get more paint than water, really, if mm -hmm. you need to kind of smudge the water off. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good, actually. So get you a little more paint on there. And uh, you want me to show you the first step, yeah, really? Yeah, get, get me started. All right, so what we've got here is we're going to get in the cracks of everything. Okay. And we're going to get all the little grooves. Get in there real good, and it's kind of scary, especially on like your more expensive, nicer props, right? To do this step, um, just get it all in the grooves there, because I mean, I, I guess that's where the dirt really is, is right? Where, yeah. So then you can kind of get a little water, and you make sure, and you really don't want to um, get it too, uh, let it dry too much, and then we'll okay. start. We'll start dabbing it off and see how it's kind of already in the crack right. there. So that's kind of the look you're going for is you don't want to necessarily leave it black and streaky. You just want to get it in all the little grooves and you can kind of rub it off there. And it, it'll, it'll still kind of dirty it up. Mm -hmm. so, so I'll spin that over and you can start on the clean side just okay. doing exactly what we were doing before. And I'll start on mine. Had a good time doing this. Yeah, um, so. um, it's definitely a new experience. Hopefully, I taught you something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, yep. All right. Hey, Dave, Stephen still moves. Sweet. Sweet. Well, cool, man. Well, I appreciate you coming Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's um, fun. we'll have to do this again sometime. We'll dirty up something else. Sounds good. Right, you guys don't go anywhere, all right? So I think the most fun part of this was the weathering, the seeing it all come together. And see how costumes become a cultural phenomenon these days. I want to thank James Cart for coming on. So check out his Room of Floyd fan page. We'll put the link in the description below. Do the like and subscribe dance for our page. And tell us what kind of props and toys you would like to try this on. And as always, follow me in that naturally.